Oh, hey, remember that false missile alert thing that happened in Hawaii? That was pretty funny, right? That was so fucking long ago, no one cares anymore. No life I know to compare with your imagination. There was a tiny, itsy bitsy statewide nuclear missile alert. So I'm sure most of you know what happened already, but just to recap, on January 13th, for 38 sweet, sweet minutes, everyone in the state of Hawaii were hyped that they were finally going to die. Maybe that was just me. And you know what? I know why. <laughs> it's because they put a goddamn 12 year old in charge of designing the user interface. Why the hell does this trigger nuclear missile warnings? Now as a software developer and a citizen of Hawaii, I feel like it's my personal obligation to make fun of to help my community. And the first thing we got to do is fix that god awful user interface. Look at this, those are goddamn hyperlinks. What year is this? 2018? <laughs> no, one, no one knows what that is. Get that, get it out of here. You know what? I'm doing a full top to bottom redesign. Give me my fucking computer. Okay, look, so I finished the new user interface and you know, as you can see, it's it's simplified a little bit. You know, I've really just boiled down the most important parts. Here is the test button, which takes up a third of the window. And here is mass statewide panic button, which also takes up a third of the window. It's, it's really easy to differentiate between the two now. But Michael, I hear you ask, doesn't increasing the size of the button heighten the chance of accidental clicking? Like what if they announce the sequel to the Emoji Movie and as a natural reaction, you seize up out of excitement, you hit the button, boom, World War III, right? No, 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 your boy thought of this. Look, if you click the button, it asks you if you meant to click the button, it's wild. Now this is a big step forward, but I I'm not super happy with the functionality. Like what if say you accidentally click the button and you're going to click no, but then your buddy yells from outside, hey, there's a dead body out here. And me being a lifelong glow ganger, I go to dab on the dead, but then I accidentally click the button, World War III. Oh, and not everyone knows how to use a computer either. So this is even shittier of a solution. I, I really want to help the state of Hawaii though. You know what we need? We need something physical, something that no one could possibly mess up. Shit, that was stupid. You're welcome, Hawaii. I just fixed your missile alert interface problem. Look at this. You have test and you have terrify absolutely everyone button. You could not possibly mess this up. Everything is written out in plain English. Take cover because of an imminent missile. Detected a missile threat. The missile high. flying through the air. A missile man. All right, I'm done with this. Uh, I don't know why this is so difficult. Uh, I'm going to bed. We'll figure. We'll figure this out in the morning. We need something really special, something that transcends languages, transcends cultures. You should be able to put it in front of anybody on this earth and they know how to use it instantly. I just, I don't know. Michael, it's me, the two brain cells you have left. Fucking do it. Look how sleek it is. Look at how intuitive it is. Everyone, all of you at home, you know how to play. Bop it! Did not sponsor this video in any way, shape, or form. Thanks a fucking lot to everyone over at Bop it. But Michael, how is a Bop it a missile alert interface? Look, the controls are crystal clear. You know what to do, when to do it. No more getting confused by that crappy UI that the state of Hawaii used to have. The old thing was way too confusing and cluttered. The Bop it, however, is a million times easier to use. Hey Michael, it kind of looks like you're using intense hyperbole to shit on the state of Hawaii. Am I? I don't know. Yes. So I've made a few changes to this regular Boppet to turn it into the best user interface of all time. Look at this. This is the stock speaker that came inside of the Boppet. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. I slap a fat subwoofer into that thing. Why? It looked cool, I guess. And also it sounds better. Next, I wired in an aux port. This is crucial because it's gonna let us transfer audio signals from the Boppet to my computer to trigger things. And last, but absolutely most important, I wired an on off switch because this thing is so goddamn annoying. Um, but Michael, how does your computer know what's going on inside the Boppet? Well, first off, you're all impatient pieces of shit and I hate you all. But to, uh, to answer your question, it's the part no one likes. It's the part that everyone thinks is boring. It's 
The code. The code. Yeah, it's it's code. It's code I wrote that makes it work. So let's talk about that code just a little bit. All right, so I wrote it in C-sharp. Big fucking shocker there. So essentially all this does is pick up on the main microphone input going to my computer. And we're gonna transmit that via this handy dandy little aux port I wired to the Boppet. Now honestly, a lot of this is just supporting code to help speech processing run more smoothly. Uh, I guess the guy who recorded the sound clips for Boppet was smoking meth before he did it. Cause even when it's hardwired directly into my computer, the audio signal, uh, my computer still has trouble parsing out the words. So. I I just gotta help it a little. Oh, and also I programmed a spectrum analyzer, which isn't totally boring because it's it's visual. Uh, that's like that wavy graph kind of chart thing that reacts to sound. And so here is what that looks like. Now I'm pretty proud of this thing. I think it looks all right. Um, it is worth noting that it's not just the bop it playing out into the air and being picked up by a microphone. It's it's direct line signal uh, to my computer and I can show you guys if I turn it off. Uh, that's just the speaker off, but the audio signal is still going to my computer. So yeah, then I can use the parsed bop it signals in order to do missile defense stuff on my computer. And real quick before the nerd shit segment ends, let's play a little game I like to call find the most disgusting snippets of code in this entire project. Should not be hard. <laughs> wow, ding ding ding, we found it. It's a dynamic waveform buffer offset. Uh, I wrote this comment like two weeks ago and forgot about it until now. Okay, so what this do Jesus, that's all one index. How did I program this without having an aneurysm? But yeah, what this code is doing is condensing, offsetting, and centering the waveform. Now here you can see these little lines on the side of the waveform. That's all that that code is responsible for, those shitty little lines. Because I thought it looked just a little bit better. All right, nerd shit's done. That's it. I don't know why I closed my computer. I still need that for the rest of the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Missile Alert Training. So as you know, we had a slight incident recently. Could have sparked World War III, no biggie. Turns out the problem was someone threw up in a bowl of cereal. They thought it would make a good user interface. So we're switching things over to the next great innovation in human technology. Is the bop it. This, this is dumb, this is dumb. The controls are so much simpler now. All you gotta do is play the bop it. If you get a score over 10, then it's just a regular test missile alert. But if you get a score under 10, it means you're trying to signal for an actual missile alert. But why the number 10? Uh, it's the highest number I could count to. All right, I got my bop it hooked up to my computer. The software's all running. Let's send out what would have been a test alert. I score 38 bullets. Jesus fucking <laughs> I think it's been 10. He's stupid. Pretty sure it's been 10. So there you can see it detected that the score was 15 and so we didn't get an alert. Okay, let's test it one more time just to be sure. Oh. Shit, it doesn't work. That sucks ass. Why is <laughs> Jesus, God, I, see, I planned to fail on purpose there. I did it on purpose, because I, I wanted to show what happened when you failed, but <laughs> I, I thought it actually didn't work, <laughs> and the alarm system I set up was way scarier than I thought it would be. At least now we know it works even better than expected, so call me up, State of Hawaii. Uh, I can make you more, because I'm gonna be giving this one away on my Patreon, because Patreon is like a clamp on the open artery that is my channel. All right, before I end the video, I have a question. I was looking through some of the comments on my channel and I, I found a lot of people actually like the code and code tutorials explanations and stuff so there's a group of people who like code and a group of people who don't like code and I like I hate you both equally as much right so I want to piss off the largest group of people I can so I'm thinking about making a separate channel where I'd post like code tutorials and like more in-depth uh, engineering stuff on how the projects are made just it's just an idea so yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comments or don't Go fuck yourself.